with fears of possible limiting of retail tariffs among players in the telecommunication business by the sector regulator growing by the day. The Uganda Communications Commission is insisting that free fall retail pricing may affect the industry growth. The industry was well in excess of one, 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 one trillion yeah, last year alone. So we expect that growth to continue. Yeah? But if the, 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 the businesses are charging or based on the cost of providing these services, not undercutting each other just for purposes of gaining market share, yeah? we will have them in business, all of them providing choice to the consumer, providing quality to the consumer, providing our industry with opportunities for growth. And this is what we want to see as we contribute to overall economic growth. Dr. David Ogong, the Director of Competition and Corporate Affairs at the Uganda Communications Commission, argues that some service providers are yet to address the issue of congestion and dropped calls that are impacting on subscribers. One concern that we have is that as a result of the lowering of these prices, there has been an enormous increase in the volume of traffic handled on the networks. And as a result, there's public outcry there. Call dropping, drop rates are so high, you cannot complete calls, you, so much network congestion and so forth. So we're saying, before you, uh, we, 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 we allow you to have all these promotions and so forth, you must have capacity within your network to handle that traffic. However, with most telecom players and customers apparently enjoying the half-year competition punctuated with massive retail price cuts, it remains to be seen in whose full interest the industry regulator would desire to nip in the bud what it calls the emerging price cannibalism. Rainer Ogen, NTV Business.